Welcome back. It's Tuesday morning, day two at the Ogilvy Fuel Conference here at the International Conference Centre in Kyoto. I'm joined this time by Professor Adrian Chok, who is from the Graduate School of Media Design at Kyoto University here in Japan. Adrian, welcome and thank you very much for joining us at uh, Ogilvy TV. It's great to be here. Augmented reality, it's a huge topic. Um, what's the headline? If I'm looking at going beyond vision, and sound into the new sen into other senses of our body because I think they're very important. So, for example, touch. We now we can't really touch people through the internet. So I want to make device. I'm making devices that you can touch and hug each other through the internet. It's a scary world. I mean, can you still raise emotions if you can't touch people? Well, I think one thing they've shown is that uh, the touch and taste and smell uh, trigger a lot of emotion and uh, uh, memories for us. So that's why I think it's important to bring these senses into, into the. Uh, communication. So for example, uh, you know, we can send someone a, a taste message. You could send someone a sweet message and combining with text and video, but the sweetness gives another level of emotion to your message. Are there any clients that are using this type of technology and what you do from the media design school in a commercial sense at the moment? Actually, we've been doing a project with NEC, which is a big uh, electronics company. And slowly but surely, we're seeing more uh, what we call haptic or touch devices coming out to the market. And related to advertising, uh, smell and taste is a very powerful uh, way to trigger emotion. So I can imagine you have billboards which, which emit smell, personalized smell in the future. This will be, I think, very big in advertising as well. Uh, in the 70s and 80s, the, the model of the mind was like a computer. But now with the neuroscientists being able to scan people's brain in real time, we realize that the, the, the mind is much more complex. Your body affects your think thinking. Um, and also, uh, a lot of thinking is done on a subconscious level. And I think in the future, what we're aiming for really will probably be a direct brain interface. Not invasive, I think people don't want to stick things in their brain. But already there's some work in the neuroscience field where we can put um, uh, magnetic coils and trigger specific uh, neuron uh, areas of the brain. How long before we start to see this pervasively in everything we do? Well, I think for the touch, it's already coming. We're seeing more and more haptic devices, and we see even commercial devices now. And then for the taste and smell, that might be a few years off. Thank you very much. This is Professor Adrian Chok, who's joined us from the Graduate School of Media Design at Kyo University here in Japan. Thank you for joining us today, Professor. Thank you very much. Day two at the Fuel Conference at the International Conference Centre in Kyoto.